Hey, so I'm John, and uh, I did the material and methods part of the presentation. Uh, so for our material and methods, I guess the good place to start would be our procedure. And so for our procedure, you can see that uh, we started out with gathering our lesson materials, and then for each experimental treatment, we added the following uh, amounts. Of, it was about 450 microliters of the corresponding pHs, which we decided were... Uh, I believe it was five, seven, nine, eleven, and eight. Um, and then we made sure to incub, and then also 500 milliliters of azocase and 50 milliliters of trypsin. We, we incubated at 37 degrees Celsius because that was like the natural temperature that it was found at. Uh, we had 500 microliters of 10% TCA in a timely and efficient manner because one thing we wanted to make sure with the TCA was that it stopped the reaction at a good time to allow for us to effectively take results. And um, so after that, we, just, we decided to centrifuge at maximum speed in the clinical centrifuge for two minutes. And then we had to transfer the supernatant to a clean cubit. Uh, and, then before, and then before we could uh, you know, actually go in there and get the absorbance from it, we had to blink the spectrophotometer using a blank um, cuvet with water. Uh, we read the absorbance in the spectrophotometer, 440 nanometers. Uh, and then we repeat these steps several times for each four trials of the, um, four trials of, I'm having a brain fart, four trials of the pHs. Uh, and then here's what we did for a negative control. For a negative control, we followed the same exact steps, but for a negative control, what we did was we took out the enzyme to make sure there was no reaction. Before, on our first try, we tried taking out the protein, and that was not a good idea. It did not work out as we expected because it still somehow reacted, I guess, with the water or something. I, I don't know. With the TCA, it's not even worth doing. Um, and then similar to this, uh, yeah, we recorded all the data right from the spectrometer to make analysis. Um, and then, so some things that we did, some things that we did, uh, which helped us explain our logic, we had the TCA to stop the reaction in a timely manner to lower the standard deviation of the results. We centrifuged the reaction in order to separate the pellet. Um, we also, um, so, and, and the more that the sulfonilamide uh, reacted with the trypsin, that was a higher the absorbance at 440 nanometers, which is the idea behind this entire lab. And then our con control conditions were, um, we chose 37 degrees Celsius just because it's a natural temperature that uh, the enzyme is found in. And we just also chose, like this time, to like change it up a little bit. We made it so that there was four um, replicates to help get rid of outliers. And yeah, I'm just going to reiterate that the whole reason that we... Um, the whole reason that we did the whole negative control thing was just so that way we can get rid of the enzyme, we get rid of the enzyme and get rid of the enzyme should hopefully not cause a reaction, which is what we saw. There was very little absorbance uh, on this picture of photometer. And our work cited was the in-class lab manual. Thanks.